Okay, we've got our shaft set up in here. I looked around, I couldn't find a spacer for that frame, so I'm just going to make one. Uh, I've got part of the shaft cleaned up there, and we're just going to drill into it and get a hole started, and then we'll take it to size with a bigger bit. Just work your bit in and get it started. Once it starts, it usually goes in pretty straight. Uh, yeah, she's just going in like nothing now. There we go. We'll use a little cutting oil on it. Uh, a lot of guys use engine oil and whatnot. And really, it's not a good idea. It's, uh, it's better than nothing, but for sure. But, uh, it has no sulfur or anything mixed with it. And it actually... The oil will uh, act more as a lubricant than a cutter, than a cutting agent. Uh, you want stuff in it so that it, uh, the iron doesn't build up on the sides of the bit. Most guys think drilling a hole is just nothing to it. But is the right and the wrong way to do it. And if you get it going properly, you'd be surprised how straight you can make them. Uh, I'm not going to get into it at all, but we've actually made short rifle barrels and whatnot uh, with a long bit. You can buy bits to, to do things like that. Just back it out and clean it again. more oil. Of course when you're drilling with a lathe, obviously the bit doesn't turn. The shaft turns and the bit just sits there and doesn't sink. you drill deep holes like that, you have to keep backing out and cleaning it because uh, it'll only push the iron so far down the lands of the drill bit and then they just kind of pack in there and won't let you go anymore. All you do is start burning stuff up. to keep the head of the lathe a little bit out of the picture there. It seems to kind of screw the movies up. Back it out and clean it. You can kind of tell when it's full and plugged. You can probably, you could hear it. It started to work and squawk a little bit. It's a lot of things I know of. Squawk a little bit. I think we've probably got enough luck dump there now anyway, but I will take it in a little more. There, you can hear it pack in there. i got to take it back out. See, it's all just packed in around the land on the bit. But I think uh, that should be deep enough, and we'll just change the bit out here, and I'll find one that's... Uh, to size for the holes in the frame there and then we'll change it. Okay, we'll just take this bit out of here. And we've got a bigger one here. This is a little bit oversized, but it doesn't matter. It's in between them two pieces, so actually it'll just make the pin that much easier to put into place. Everything should be fine. Make sure you got them nice and tight. A lot of pressure on stuff like this. They're not like a little hand drill. You get them tight or they slip and they peel the edge of the bit off and they're kind of crappy after that. Okay. Little 
oil on the bit. Careful when you start. Sometimes they grab a little bit, they squeal and vibrate. Once they get in past the taper, then they go good. There you go. I'm going to get my little bit warm. Uh, I think I can just probably drill this out in one action here. I'll just kind of back it up and give it a little oil once in a while. You should be okay to go. It's a little warm when you're cutting on it, so it's bound to a little bit. I do have cooling fluid that I use on this lathe, but I don't use it enough anymore, and it starts to stink after a while, so it's got the last couple of years. I just use some kind of cutting oil, or maybe pour a little something on it as I go. Alright, that should give us lots of depth. I think I measured that. I think it was 45 millimeters is what it needs. There. We have one shaft with a hole in it. Take about three millimeter off it. So we'll move it in here. There. Push our cutter in. I don't even bother measuring stuff like this. I just cut it. I'll cut it once more and then I'll fit it to size and see if it fits in the bike or not. If not, we'll put it back in and take some more.
Okay, I'm going to take it out, but first I want to put a mark on my pin, my spacer, and my head, and that way I can put it back in in the same spot. Okay, I need a little more off here yet. So we'll just put them back in, line them up with that mark we made. About there. Tighten them up a bit. Don't have to be real tight for this stuff either, it's not necessary. Okay, we have it to size. I'm just going to put it it's back in the lathe there. I'm just going to take my file and clean up the edges so there's no sharp stuff there. Uh, just one little point. A lathe file should always have a handle. If you don't, there's a very good chance that you're going to ram it through your hand. Uh, if they catch something, if you got that point in the palm, and it won't just stop there, it'll shove it right through before you know what happened. So we we'll just take the edge off, that's all I want to do, just so it doesn't catch on the frame. When I put it in, whatever, it's only a one shot deal, so it really doesn't matter. That's what I like to do with them. Turn it around and do the same thing to the other side here. should be just fine. It's a little bigger than the rest of it, but it, it just doesn't matter and uh, I'm not going to waste a whole bunch of time cutting that down for no reason. Okay, so here we have our bushing that uh, just fits in there nice. and tighten it up. Okay, socket and my uh, metric fiddle all wrench. Fit any metric bolt, these things are amazing. back end is still the way we left it so we should be just nice here now. Okay. 